get in without taking a ticket? The guy just let me in. I said I need to come pick up my son. Hey, how the fuck are ya? So a few videos ago, I walked into a bunch of cafes and restaurants and got rejected and got rejected and rejected and rejected and rejected until finally I walked into one cafe and the owner of the cafe, Jeff, and Jeff said, yeah, let's make some coffees. I need some photos done. After we took the photos, I showed him my Instagram account and he was like, oh, hey, you shoot cars. And so we walked out the back of his cafe and he showed us his like fully modified M2 competition. And he's like, uh, well, I've lost my license but can you just take the keys and just take it for a drive and go get some photos of it uh what the fuck uh yeah what kind of question is that do i want to last video was obviously teaching you how to go out and make some money and make some connections which is more or less what this video is about walking into one place getting me work at his cafe so i got paid from there and now he wants another job done where i can get paid to take photos of his cars and who knows what might happen after he sees the car photos then his friends might want photos of their cars so i'm gonna go grab lamont and let's go take this m2 for a spin Oy. I haven't really planned this that much. I know I probably should have. I've got a few photography locations in mind that I think I want to go to, mainly around the city. Oh, almost scrapes. <laughs> you can't not smile in a turbo car. Ah, you fucking dog. All right, I'm gonna see if we can sneak our way in. <laughs> Hey there, I just need to go pick up my son. Yes, did you push a button to get a ticket or no? It just said call intercom. Yeah, one moment mate. Thank you. That's right. We're going to go pick up our son. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, I want to do this before any security comes because last time I was here, security came like straight away and kicked us out. I'm just gonna shoot this on 16 to 35, and then I might try another shot later with the 85 mil. Actually, no, I'm gonna do 85 right now. There's actually all these construction signs like right down there. I'm gonna run over and just like get them out of the shot. For this shot because it's got a cityscape background but i want the whole car to be in focus so i'm going to shoot the car on f4 so the whole car gets into focus the front and the back and then i'm going to take another photo on f1.4 so i get all the bokeh of the city and then merge them together later in photoshop now i'm going to try and shoot the front of the car so i'm going to park it directly down the middle of the road and basically an 85 mil shot looking back into the city like a very front on shot of the car like the best angle to make a car look aggressive. We picked up our son. This will be the moment of truth. Okay. Dude, if no one picks up, we're like stuck in here. <laughs> Hi there, I just had to come in and pick up my son. I can't actually exit. Uh, a couple minutes. How did you get in without taking a ticket? The guy just let me in. I said I need to come pick up my son. And then I picked him up. And then it just said free okay. access. I literally don't even have the... Oh, thank you. Goodbye. to just get my phone out before I get all my camera equipment out and just see what it looks like on my phone. Chances are, if it looks good on the iPhone, it's going to look good on your camera. I'm going to try a few photos now freehand, so I'm going to shoot a lot of stuff at 1.4. High shutter speed, I'm going to bump my ISO a bit. A good rule of thumb when shooting, especially at night photography, is to shoot roughly whatever millimeter length your camera is or whatever your millimeter length is that you're shooting at is roughly what your shutter speed should be. Usually with every single one of my car shoots, I like to get a brake light shot. So usually I either get the driver or if I don't have a driver, I'll literally stick my tripod on the brake. So 
more or less what I want to talk about from today's photo shoot and more importantly what I want you to take away from this is that you have to build a connection base first before you know you go out and actually do a photo shoot like this this photo shoot would not have happened if I didn't walk into that cafe in that video this is as real as it gets and a car shoot is something that isn't as easy to charge money for because at the end of the day shooting someone's car for as a personal gig is a want over a need in photography it's a lot easier to walk into a cafe or a business that needs content done they need content every business needs content so by you walking in there it's a numbers game until you can actually eventually get paid to do that job for them right a car is a materialistic object and to have photos of your car is definitely not something that you need you don't need that to be a better person you don't need that to make more money for your business you don't really need it at all that's something that you want because you have to look at this from both ends someone who doesn't necessarily need something but just wants it right so how much are they going to pay for that service for the money that i did charge from tonight's photo shoot and the photos that i've edited i want to be completely transparent with you about what I charged him and we're going to break down the price on why I charged him that amount of money. This is exactly what I would charge someone on or off camera. I'm not doing this for any other purpose other than to show you if you're a bit confused about what to charge someone for your services. Me going out and taking photos freelance in general, I will roughly sit around $100 an hour for my photography service. That photo shoot was five hours. As soon as I step foot out of the house, timer goes on and as soon as I come back home timer stops so since I left my house at 7 30 p.m. and I didn't come home until 12 30 a.m. that's 8 30 you know that hour 9 30 10 30 11 30 12 30 that is five hours of work from being outside doing a job me charging a hundred dollars an hour that is five hundred dollars straight off the bat I also include an editing cost into my final price so it took me two hours to edit all 20 photos mainly because I used a preset. While I'm at it, I might as well plug them. I do have presets for sale. They come 20 in a pack, and then plus they come with walkthrough tutorials and raw photos. If you want to get them, they're in my bio. I use presets to edit my photos. So really, once I've got one style of, you know, I've edited one, one image or whatever, so I'll chuck a preset on it, and then I'll go through it, sort of fuck with it a little bit until I'm happy with the result. And then I can synchronize the photos and work from there. Generally, that takes about two or one and a half to two hours. And still, sorry, I still charge $100 an hour for editing as well so obviously you're left with five hours of being on shoot travel time as well so being on the shoot uh, and then two hours of editing as well which gives you seven hours so that's seven hundred dollars i actually charged him seven hundred and seventy dollars mainly because of the gst law i'm not sure what your tax percentage is or if you even need to pay tax for stuff like this but i charged seven hundred dollars for today's shoot purely from going out and asking people if they need photos done so that's talking about all the costs. Let's actually look at some of the photos. First spot, we went to the shot with, you know, how we snuck into the car park by saying I had to pick up my son. Lying on the ground, like I said, gives a really aggressive look to the car. So I've got a few there. Uh, the back shot that I merged together, I probably should have angled the car the other way, but because it was my first shot and kind of like a test shot, I wasn't really thinking. If I was to do this again, I would have actually angled the car the other way so the light was reflecting on the wheels instead of it being in the shadows there. So I kind of fucked that up on my behalf, but whatever, still a dope image. I'm still going to run with it. Then I took some landscape shots here as well. I'm really happy with. Shot all of this on the 85mm. 85mm is just a beast lens for car photography in general and portraiture if that's what you... And even landscapes as well. And street, it's just a good lens for everything. I would highly recommend getting an 85 mil. Moving on, we went to the docks and that's where I got the YouTube thumbnail as well. Some close-ups of the badges, the steering wheel and the headlights as well. I think they're good just for Instagram stories and wallpapers. Um, lastly, we actually went to Chinatown. Uh, I like the cool neon lights there and I think the car, you know, having blue accents on it and being Nardo gray. I think it's a great contrast there with all the red neon lighting. And we actually um, took it down an alleyway where I've shot a lot of cars before. And we actually poured a lot of water on the ground. And I managed to get this reflection shot. And once I edited it, I edited that sign in the background to become neon. Just by brushing around it and making the exposure super high on it. That's probably one of my favorite photos from the night. Mainly because of the creative aspect behind it. It's really hard sometimes to get creative with cars. Because cars, they're so big and bulbous and they take up so much room. It's hard 
to get like close-ups and creative shots with them so that's actually probably my favorite shot from the night and usually how I would go around sending the photos I'd upload them to a Dropbox link some people because they've been fucked over in the past they'll send like um, draft copies of the photos like really low res stuff and then once they've received half the other the other half of the payment some photographers like to get pa half payment up front and half payment at the end uh, I trust Jeff so I sent him the link or the Dropbox link where I uploaded all the photos so I just sent him a text saying hey here are all the photos as well and send seven hundred dollars or seven hundred and whatever dollars to this bank account paid within that night happy with the photos might tell his friends which might get me more work in the future so if you do want to go check out jeff's business and his car page i'm going to leave them right here those are the instagrams you can go check out big shout out to jeff you're a fucking legend bro thank you so much for allowing me to do these videos with you this past week i hope i taught you something new today i definitely learned something new if you did like this video leave a like down below and help me out by hitting subscribe but with that all said and done I will see you in the next one.